What's going on YouTube? What's happening? Uh, back at y'all with another video. Hope everybody's had a uh, blessed day. Hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit your notification bell. And uh, drop as many comments as you can down below. To get today, you guys, I want to kind of talk about um, this, you know, the one person in my life I'm most thankful for. And I'm going to explain why in a little bit. Um, you guys, for those who know me, obviously, especially family and friends and close friends and stuff, you know, <laughs> I thank God for a lot of things. I really do. And one of the most valuable possessions, I wouldn't even call it a possession, I say valuable assets that I have as a young man and everything, and that would be my most beautiful, most courageous, and the most person that's always understood me, that's always been a cheerleader in my corner, and that is my mother. Mom, I love you. I know it's not Mother's Day. I know it's not your birthday, but I want to. I want to, you know, quickly give a, a testimony, testimony, I guess, so to speak, and everything. Um, I ain't trying to preach, but I want to give a testimony and just, you know, let you know what, you know, what I feel about you and what all you've given me. You know, what all you've done for me. You know, Mom. You've always been there for me. Even when everybody else walked away, when everyone else gave up on me, when everyone else would boo me in the crowd, you were always the one that was standing there with me. And for that, I love you and I care about you. I may not always do do, do what you want me to do, uh, did this and everything, but you've never abandoned me. You've never walked off and left me. You've always been there for me, Ma. That's why I don't give a damn who it is. Bet no nigga or anybody disrespect you. They are. They won't have to answer to me. Period. And the thing about it is, is that um, I'm just grateful and thankful that you were in my corner like you've always been. You know, Ma, but you... What you did for me and everything as a child up to now, I would never forget it. Even as a young adult now, you you taught me lessons in life that no one else uh, didn't teach or wouldn't bother to teach. See, the way I feel and everything, shouts out to everybody who's got good mothers out there that love that love and care about them. Shouts out to them and everything. And also, and everything, may God be with people who don't have good mothers. And everything, but I was blessed, and by God's grace and mercy, I was able to get, um, you know, a great mother and everything. And no disrespect to nobody who you no know, have mother issues or nothing like that. No disrespect none at all intended. Mom, you showed me what a how a woman's supposed to be. I've tried dating, I've tried talking to women, and everything. It just never, never gets anywhere. It's always end up in a pile of rubble. That's why a lot of times I don't really bother, you know, because the the stuff, how things get blown in proportion, it's either it's over a money thing, or you don't make enough money, you ain't good looking, you this, you that, and everything. And I always ask God, if you sort of speak, sort of, excuse me, you know, to, or to give me a wife and everything, to have me, to have a, a wife like you, Ma. You've always, like I said, I can't stress enough, you've always been there and kind of give a few points and everything. There are times that me and my brother, which obviously is your son, obviously, me and my brother, we ate and you didn't eat. There were times that when everyone else and everything, you know, gave up on me, walked away, you know, uh, said, Brandon, you're stupid, you're dumb, you're ugly, you're this, you're that and everything. You never did. You never did. You always encouraged me. And God first. And uh, and him inserting you in my life have been nothing more than a blessing. 
And, you know, if I do get a little emotion here, you guys, I do apologize. I'm not an emotional person. I'm a very stern person. I'm not an emotional person and everything, but I just had to stop by and just, you know, just, just, just speak on, you know, the one true consistent bright spot I've had in my life. It's every, I'm telling you, I'll be here all day long and telling you the stuff that I've been through from people walking out and leaving me, the people flipping me to birds saying, you know, the hell with you. You ain't nobody. You ain't this. Uh, your mama should have had an abortion with you and everything. I didn't hurt at all and everything. There's a lot of reason why I have the personality that I have. It's not an insecure one. It's more of a stern, tough one. Cause they say you won't, what don't kill you, make you strong. But, um, there were times my, like I said, that we had clothes and you didn't. It was time that we had a new pair of shoes and you didn't. I love you dearly, mom. God knows I do. And I wouldn't be out here, uh, trying to make money and everything uh, out here on the road as a driver and everything, you know, to try to not just help myself, but to help, you know, help you as well. Because like I said, you've always, you've always helped me. And you, to me, mom, you set the tone for how a mother and how a woman and how a wife should be. And I'm sorry. There's no disrespect to any, any woman out there that I've got came across or may have met. But no one, and I ain't just saying this because she's my mother, but no one have displayed that to me. She has the characteristics of a godly woman, a Christian woman. She's with me when I'm up. She's with me when I'm down. She's with me when I got a pocket full of money. She's with me when I'm dead, be broke. That's the type of mother that I have. That's why I'm telling you, I, I just ask God to bless her and everything and um, shed his grace and his mercy on her and everything because she's she means so much to me and everything and like i said i know this ain't your birthday so i know you're gonna see this mom i know this ain't your birthday i know it's not mother's day but i appreciate everything you do you a damn good woman and everything and i it, i just you know i really didn't with the you know with the exception of pop mom and you know what i'm talking about never really had anybody who encouraged me. I've always ran into people who, like you know, like I said, told me I was nothing. And, uh, I'm dumb. I'm stupid. Had a math teacher tell me that I was the most stupidest kid she's ever taught and everything. Uh, it, you, you never said nothing like that to me. You never gave up on me. Where everybody else and everything walked away, including some of my damn family members. When everybody else walked away and everything, you were always there. And I just pray if I, first of all, if I never get a wife, because I, I never get the wife or the woman that I always wanted in life and everything, I know I got the mother I always wanted as well as needed, more importantly. And I just want to tell you and everything that I love you and that I care about you. And thank you for showing me love all my life. And before then, when I was in your stomach, you've always been there for me, Ma. And I don't mean to get tear eyed and everything, but I'm speaking from the heart. As you guys know, I do. I don't bullshit anybody. And I just, you know, I just had to think about that. I just want to make sure you knew about that. Because like I said, they don't, I, Ronald Isley said it best. And any shouts out to everybody who know who Ronald Isley is and everything. Uh, he had a song called, uh, what's it, um, they don't, they don't make them like you no more and everything, something like that of that nature. Um, they don't, they don't make mothers, they don't make women, and they, sh they don't make wives like you no more, ma. And I'm just grateful and thankful that I was blessed enough that, that God sent you to me. See, if, if I'm telling you, had not been for God first and you second, everything, no telling where I would be. And I just want to say thank you for showing me what to look for in a woman and everything and what I need to desire and what I should get. Cause I'll tell you, I've tried to talk to some, I've tried to, you know, you know, have a relationship with some and everything. This shit just never works for me. <laughs> it just never works for me and everything. And I honestly believe that's large in part because they don't have your DNA in them. I mean, they're not cut from the same cloth that you are. And it ain't, and like I said, it's not always people, you need to understand, it's not always about money 
and everything. Well, money doesn't make or break a relationship. We all know we're not stupid now. We all know we need money to survive, to make it, pay bills. We well, we get all that. But if money's the only reason why you even talking with somebody or even dealing with somebody, and that this goes both ways now. If money's the only reason why you even have people coming up calling you friend, calling you, you know, that you are your, you're their best friend, you their girlfriend or their boyfriend, if, if that's the money's the only reason why you even talking to somebody, then it ain't, it's not real friendship, it's not real family, and it's not real love at all. Because what happens when the money is gone? Then what? That's what a lot of these, a lot of these professional athletes don't understand. Okay, you get you a 40, 50, 60, 70 million dollar contract and everything. You run away. You got all these people from the uh, all around you. They ain't your friend. They are hollering at you. Or you know they best buds. You their right hand dude. Girls coming to you by the flock. By the flock and everything. I mean like crazy and everything. They call them groupies and everything. They coming to you by the flock. But when that money leaves, they leave. Right now, I don't have a girlfriend. Obviously, I don't have a wife. But I promise y'all. Like I said, I I may not be the best looking guy in the world. I understand that. And everything, I try to take good care of myself. And everything, I know I need a haircut for one and everything. But as you guys know, all the damn barber shops and shit's closed down. So I can't do that. And everything, I just try to, you know, work with what I got and everything. And um, But <laughs> money shouldn't be the, the the engine to a relationship. We all know we need it. God knows we all know we need it. But if that's the if, if your relationship with anyone is predicated off money, then it's it's not legit. It just it, until that money leave well excuse me, when that money leave, then you gonna leave. Those type of people. That's what need I have to understand everything. You may think, oh this girl really likes me, this girl really care about me and everything. She like you because you got a pocket full of money. I mean, we're going to keep it real. And not all, and don't get it twisted now. Not all girls are like that. Don't get it twisted. But I'm just saying, I'm talking about the ones that are. You got family members. They feel that they're better than you because they got money. Or they live in a nice house or live in a nice car and everything. Y'all money ain't nothing but paper. We're actually human beings. So, like I said, Ma. You've always showed me love. You've always cared about me. That's why I care about you. And I hope and pray before God, um, you know, call you back home, back up to heaven and everything. I make your days on earth as, as, as heavenly and as pleasant and as beautiful as I can. You know I love you and I will never disrespect you. I will walk away, leave the house, go get in my car or do something else before I disrespect you. Because I remember that it was you that took care of me first. You showed me love before anybody. Where everybody else pushed me away, said, Oh, Brandon, you ain't shit. You ain't nobody. You always was there with, with open arms saying, Son, you always are welcome to come to me. You're always welcome to come home. You always, you always, you always know that you got love here and everything. I haven't met anyone like that ever, especially not no female. <laughs> There's no female that I've came in contact with that has showed me the kind of love and everything, including some of my damn relatives. Now, don't get it twisted. I know I have some uh, uh, aunties and uh, cousins stuff. You know, they love me. But, Mom, your love is is superior to any of that and everything. Because, you, like I said, you never abandoned. You never played any differences with me and, me and my brother. You never did any of that. You always showed us equal amount of love, and you always are there for us. So for that, God bless you, Mom. I love you and everything. And um, I just, you know, I pray to God that before it's all said and done, that you be the happiest you know, and the most uh, beautiful woman uh, in the world and everything. Hope to God that he sends you a huge blessing because you deserve it after all the hell you done been through. I love you, Mom. And I talk to you. Actually, I talk to you this weekend. That's when I be coming home. After all, I don't care if it's a dog. I don't care if it's a man. Hell, I don't even give a damn if it's a cockroach. Don't nobody go nowhere if they if they don't feel love. Wherever and the children are the same way. Wherever they feel love, that that's where they gonna go. Love you, ma.